Warning, this video contains or may contain flashing lights and or strobing effects, which is known to potentially cause seizures in people who may not have a history of them. If you suffer from seizures or any other similar health concerns, please consult your doctor before watching this video. Hello everyone, Accessibility Gamer here looking to show you a nice early grinding area that you can reach right after you pick up from where the demo left off. A good place to start this grind is from the Royal Portrait Hall safe zone. Exit the room and go down the hall where you came out of to knock down the bird enemy, preferably with a mage. The teeth enemies are weak to fire, while the bird enemy is weak to ice, so I would recommend you go in with a full mage party for this grind. Killing this enemy without taking any damage will net you 210 experience points for your archetype, 200 experience points for your character, and 210 mag, and 175 in cash. And because there is a second one here, you can also do the same thing to the other enemy to double those gains. If you get lucky, the bird enemy will sometimes summon two war wulhas, killing everyone without taking any damage still, nets you 270 experience points for your archetype, 255 experience points for your characters, 357 mag, and 238 in cash, which again can be doubled because there's still a second one there. So if it also happens to summon those same additional enemies, you can double dip. This makes it easier to grind for the hero's Leaf of Light, which gives an archetype 1,000 experience points. So you can grind each character to get one of these leaves and quickly raise the archetype levels of all the archetypes that you have obtained at this point in the story. Eventually, you will run out of magic power. And if you were like me and you forgot to buy some magic potions, then you can go down to the prayer room area and start killing those dogs with the mage archetype equipped. Each dog that you kill with the mage archetype will restore one magic point due to its passive that allows you to restore one magic point for each enemy that you either kill or stun. So it'll take a few minutes, but you can go back to being at full magic power again and then continue on with the grinding until you feel confident enough to fight the boss. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know what your thoughts are on it below. And I hope you enjoy your journey in Metaphor Refantasio.